welcome to Storytime with Mr. K. How, how are you guys today? Good. Good. Today we're reading It's Not That Big a Deal by Ron Karras, illustrated by Arthur Lynn. It's not that big a deal if you spilled your cup of milk. Because, ah! <laughs> Dad, that's you. That's me going, you spilled your milk. <laughs> it's not that big a deal if you forget to flush the potty. <laughs> Look, Mom's like, I guess I'll flush it for you again. <laughs> it's not that big a deal if your room is a bit of a mess. Look how messy that room is. Is your guy's room that messy? Yeah. Yeah, it is. June. I'm a no. No, not mine. No, yours is completely clean? If I go up there right now, there's not going to be stuffed animals all over the floor? That's not big a deal. Oh, okay, you're right. It's not that big a deal. So, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's not that big a deal if you knock your sister down by mistake. Ah! Look, he's got a pot on his head. He's probably like a, he's probably like a superhero or something. Da -da -da. And he's spilling. Oh, yes. Yeah. His coffee's getting spilled. That's okay. you spilling your coffee. If, if you knock your sister down, what are you supposed to do? Get right. a grown-up. Get a grown up, but what do you do even before that? Unless they're really hurt. If they're really hurt, you could get a grown up. But what do you do before that? Help. Help? How? And that? We? What would you say? Are you okay? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good response. That's a good thing to say. It's not that big a deal if you take a little longer to get ready. Like you don't know quite how to tie his shoes yet, and the kids seem to all be arguing with each other. It's not that big a deal if you accidentally broke something in the store. Ooh, look, she broke a lamp. Oh! And it smashed all over the ground. Now m mommy has to buy it because they broke it. Hmm. It's not that big a deal if you track some dirt into the car. Well, that's certainly true with our car. Our car is a mess anyway. It's not that big a deal if you're shy around grown ups. It's not that big a deal if you didn't finish every bite on your plate. Look, he left his broccoli and his carrots. And so did she. You're saying, hey, why did you not eat all that good shit? Yeah, well, hey, what do you think you're doing not eating your broccoli and your carrots, huh? Hey, hey, eat your broccoli and your carrots. It's not that big a deal if you always leave your clothes inside out. What is a big deal is that no matter what happens each day, Mommy and Daddy love you very much, and we could not imagine life without you. Oh, that's nice. But seriously, though, don't forget to flush the potty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all... How long was this potty left unattended that there's green smoke rising from it? Ew. That's a fart. <laughs> Someone left something really stinky in that potty for a long time without flushing. Which one do you think it was? Who do you think it was? Uh, this one. Why do you think it was him? I don't know. Yeah. I think it was her. Oh, you think she did it? No, I think, <laughs> think Dad, she did it. I think you did it because, she, because you have a tear down. Oh, I'm sweating it. <laughs> I, I think I think Frank's right. I think Mommy did it and is pretending to blame it on someone no, else. No, Dad did it. It's right, a, it's a, no, Mommy for sure did that. Oh, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Look. All right, we get to make up our own. It's not that big a deal if what? What's something that happens that you guys do maybe it's not that, big a deal that we if... say, hey, don't do that. But what's really not that big a deal? If you break your, if you break the counter. If you break the counter, that'd be, you'd be doing something really hard. Jump on the couch! Yes! You guys yes. jump on the couch a lot. M Mommy and Daddy may say, oh, hey, don't do that. Every time you do it, we may sound what really angry, we say but it's broken. not that big a deal. Yeah. Hey, you want to see the end of the story? It's so weird, okay? Well, well, we just did the end of the story. No, I want to show her it. Oh, she saw it. I mean, I agree. <laughs> do not forget to flush the toilet. Why do <laughs> I have to flush everybody's <laughs> toilet? No, no, no. Dad, no. Dad had a tear down and it was Dad. It was definitely Dad. What? <laughs> it was Dad. 
Look how nervous she I never fly. She was so nervous, and all the kids knew. They were like, that was definitely dad. I hope mom doesn't yell. I don't like where this conversation is going. Everybody flush your own toilet. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, that was very good, June. That was very good. You're going to have your very own show soon if you keep that up. Do you want your own show? Should we do a story time with Ms. J? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I want a story time with Mr. Um, 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 Mr. F. Um, F. Oh, yeah, okay. Mr. F. Yes. Who's Mr. F? Me. Oh, okay. What's the F stand for? <laughs> oh, that's the sound to make. But, sure. but, but, but it's going to be called Artist with Mr. F. Oh, you're going to draw. Artist with Mr. You're gonna, F. You're going to draw things? Yeah, Artist with Mr. Yeah, F. Yeah, so, so what are you going to draw? What would, what would be the first episode? Well, What's the... the first episode is going to ah! be a bunny. A bunny? A bunny? That's a good one. That, that's a good starter. I like it. We're going to have to wait for that. But today, we're going to read a book about waiting. Patrick Picklebottom <laughs> and the Longest Wait. Story by Mr. J. Artwork by Gary Wilkinson. No, Mr. Me. Mr. Me. Oh, Mr. Me. You mean Ms. J? Yeah, Ms. J. Well, no, this story is by Mr. J. Who we've read, you know, all the... Rock books that we've got, the rhyming rock, Ricky the Rock books that we have. Mr. J wrote those. And he wrote this one, too. For young Patrick Picklebottom, who loved books most of all, it was exciting to read what was up on the wall. The sign said that story time's round five o'clock. A cute little tale about a flat-sided Ricky rock. rock. Yeah, there's Ricky the Rock. It's supposed to be good. Ricky the Rock in, in the trees. Yes. <laughs> Don't have, right? We don't have Ricky Rock in the Trees. No, that is not a book that we have. We'll have to look that one up. A cute little tale about a flat-sided rock. It's supposed to be good. He had heard a review, but he was two hours early with nothing to do. Two hours? How? What would you do if you had two hours to wait for something? I, I will play. You play for two hours. Okay, what would you play? A uh, Paw Patrol. A Paw Patrol? I will play with my friend's house. With your friend's house? No, you mean... my friend house. This big giant house right here. Oh, your friend house? His name is house? Yeah, we're inside him right now. Whoa. <laughs> so your friend is our house and we're inside your friend? Yes. He ate you guys. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have teeth. Well, it sounds like you have a very good imagination. Let's see what Patrick Picklebottom <laughs> cooks up in his head. So he sat. And he waited. Oh, no, the little boy's wagon fell apart. Oh, no. And he waited some more. More bored, more impatient than ever before. Look, it looks like the light is getting to be nighttime. Was it five yet? He looked at the clock just to see. But oh no, it was only two minutes past three. It felt like a week had already gone by. And for a moment he thought he might break down and cry. He had to find something to pass time along. So he decided to start by singing a song. He began with dem bones. Right dem bones? <laughs> yeah, right into blind mice. Then some 80s rock ballads that he thought were quite nice. He was dancing around, having all sorts of fun. And the next thing he knew, it was 331. Are you dancing to some 80s rock? <laughs> yeah. Ah, I'm in a Patrick sang all his songs and his dancing was through. So he set out to find something new he could do. So he wrote a short poem about a little green elf. Not a bad piece of work, if he said so himself. Hey, look, here's his poem. Here's the poem he wrote. The green little elf sat up on a shelf and didn't have much to eat.
He chewed on his tie and then wondered why. So he ate his delicious green feet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the elf ate his feet. It looked at other elves What? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. So it wasn't that great, and he'd have written some more, but he glanced at the clock, and it was ten after four. The next thing he did was to find some old chalk, and he drew a bright sun, some clouds, and a hawk soaring the sky above a field and a lake. And then for no reason, he drew a big cake. It was chocolate with frosting and swirly red lines and big smiley faces and star-shaped designs. Oh, no. The clock is in there. It's in the cake. Then he drew a fast car and pretended to race before drawing a rocket and flying through space. A small castle here and a dinosaur there and a chess game between a fern and a bear. What? Yeah, what? He drew a small monster biting somebody's nose and then a fat bug wearing oversized clothes. Wow, he's got quite an imagination. Look at that a big bug. Yeah, the spaceship. Look at that big bug. Patrick stared up at the world he'd created. All the things he had made in the time he had waited. Look at all the things he drew while he was waiting. He imagined all of these things. Wow. That's cool. The next thing he knew, it was 20 past 5. This is the book that we have. Oh, yeah, we have that book. Oh, what was the name of that book? Do you remember? No. Mm. Ricky, Ricky the Dinosaur? No, it was... um. The mat, the the grumpy dinosaur. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, he was grumpy because things weren't going his way, right? The grumpy dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus Hex and the unluckiest day ever. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that was the one. That was a good book, wasn't it? Yeah. The next thing he knew, it was twenty past five, but story time had simply failed to arrive. He looked at the sign to figure out why and smiled to himself with a wry little sigh. The time was at five, but the day was tomorrow. Though he didn't feel anger, annoyance, or sorrow, he'd simply come back and he wouldn't be late, precisely at three, to enjoy his long wait. So he didn't get to story time, but look at all the fun he has waiting, because he just thinks up all these amazing things. Wow. That yeah. was a good book, guys. Yeah. What What do you guys... And Pickle and the Pickle Pants. If pickle you... and the Pickle Pants. Pickle Pants? No, it's Pickle Bottom. <laughs> pickle has the Pinky Pants. <laughs> Patrick Pickle Bottom and the Longest Wait. When you guys imagine and play things, what do you imagine? June, what do you imagine? Uh, play. What do you play, like, in your head? Like, what do you like to play? What do you like to pretend? I'm swinging on the beehive. Swinging on a beehive? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a very dangerous game. Do the bees get you? Nope. No. Nope. So pretend. Oh, are are you friends with the pretend bees? Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And you swing on their beehive. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Frank. Okay, this is real. Well, no, well, it's not. It's your imagination. But the imagination is real. Okay, all right. That, hey, some people have very all right. What what is what is your what are you imagining into reality? I'm eating lunch. I mean, no, no, being a dinosaur. <laughs> you like to imagine you're a dinosaur. Yes. You like to imagine. <sighs> wow. <laughs> what? I like I like pretend I'm a butterfly fly. Yeah, and what what does uh what do you do when you're a dinosaur? I am a T-Rex and I uh eat meat. <laughs> you know what I like to imagine? What? That I'm a monster. What? Yeah. What kind of monster? I mean, no, no, what no, kind no. of monster? A and? tickle monster. <laughs> and I go. And I go. Tickle, 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 tickle. Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, Story Time with Mister K. Um, so, um, I had a, I never had a turn to do the intro, so I'm doing it today, guys. So, okay, everyone say hi. Hello. 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 My turn.
And we're reading another butt story. Well, hang on. We have a special guest today on Storytime with Mr. K. Yeah? Yeah, we had guests before, and now we have a new guest. Who wants to tell us who our guest is? Maddie! Maddie! Hi, everybody. Hello, Maddie. So, how do we know Maddie? Is Maddie our friend? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Would you call her a best friend? Yes. Yeah. We play dinosaurs a lot, a lot with her. You play yeah. dinosaurs? How do you play dinosaurs? So, um, um, so Jeannie's the princess and she's the queen that keeps, I mean, no, no, no. She's the queen now. Who's she? June's the queen? Yeah. Okay. And who are you again? I'm usually the one that keeps her safe from the dinosaur. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm okay. the dinosaur. And, and, and you're the dinosaur. Find you to be a T-Rex. I'm going to be a Velociraptor. <gasps> we love Velociraptors. <laughs> All right. And what kind of noise does a Velociraptor make? <sighs> oh, wow. And they run like this. And they also could run like this. Elsa, you can run like this. No, they run like this. Wow. That's so cool. All right. All right. Why don't you come back over here? So, now that we've got the dinosaur business out of the way, you guys want to read a book? No, my turn. Oh, go ahead, June. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Story Time with Mr. K. Today, have fun with Maddie today. Yeah. Today, we're having fun with Maddie today. That's right. And unicorns got up like this. What? I guess they do. And you they know do how, gallop. So, you know how kangaroos hop? I'm so great at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Can I see that? All right, all right, all right. Let's back on task. We've derailed. Let's get to the book. All right. Get so to today we're reading My Butt is So Silly <laughs> by Don McMillan and illustrated by Frank. Ross Kinnaird. Ross, Ross Kinnaird. That's Ross right. Kinnaird. My butt is so silly. <laughs> It's unruly and wild. I need a new butt. A butt with manners. A butt that is mild. My butt's super active. Over the top. It's got to keep moving. No way it can stop. My butt wants to dance when it's supposed to be sleeping. Swinging and singing, swaying and leaping. How do you guys think a butt sounds when it's singing? <laughs> Hey, what if I would seem like this? <coughs> well, that butt would have a beautiful singing voice. Jumping and bumping. Behavior so bad. My naughty butt wakes mom and dad. Go to sleep! Mm -hmm. My butt is ridiculous. My butt acts like a fool. It causes trouble when I go to school. Look, he's going to school and all these people are like, Ah, oh, this guy's butt's crazy. Mm -hmm. I wonder what his butt's doing that it's making everyone nuts. This morning goes well until there's a bad smell in show and tell. <coughs> the classroom's a riot. The teacher wants quiet. Everyone goes, ew, that smell came from you. All right, let's be honest. Who here has pooted in school <laughs> in their classroom? <laughs> oh, you liars. Nobody? Um. You've never tooted in your classroom. I mean, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and that's Frank. Well, that's Frank there. <laughs> no, I'm not. My butt is a rascal. So hard to restrain. It likes to jump puddles and play in the rain. What grade are you in, Maddie? I'm in third grade. Third grade. All right, let's put your reading skills to the test. To get my pants dirty, worn out to tatter, Leaving my folks feeling worried and shattered. Nice. A problem indeed my folks think I need. Some quiet time to sit down and read. Or to watch a TV show for a bit. My butt might relax if it has to sit. <coughs> Look, his butt's like making him bounce off the walls. <laughs> so funny. So, my butt starts to slouch here on the couch. On fluffy cushions. The cushions that slump. 
cushions just right for a butt that goes. What? <laughs> Did your butt turn into a pig? What was that noise? No, I'm sleeping. Oh, it's sleeping. Bump. Bump. The butt that goes bump. And on the chair where dad sits at night. Yes, my butt and dad's chair fit together just right. So possibly my butt will chill. I think it will. I think it might settle and stay very still. But... Ah! There's a wiggle! A twitch and a jiggle! It's on the move! My butt's in the groove! Bouncing and bounding, my butt is astounding! It leaps here and there! And... Disaster! Dilemma! My butt is now... Square! A square butt is interesting. A square butt is rare. A square butt fits perfectly down the back of a chair. So here I am with my legs in the air. My mom is laughing. My dad is too. And then they do what they need to do. Pull! And luckily... My silly butt is completely intact. It's all around again. And it still has a crack. It's ready to jump. It's ready to play. And guess what I found in REI today? My birthday present! A cool trampoline! <coughs> it's the best present I've ever seen. My butt is so happy. It's great at seat drops. One, then another, the fun never stops. Now my butt has ambitions. My butt is bold. Seat drops with half twists, five at a time. My butt's a natural. Its balance is fine. My silly butt is aiming for gold. Wait, he was in the Olympics? He was he in got, the Olympics? His butt was in the gold. Best uh, butt? Yeah, the, he got the gold medal for. Oh what do you gosh. think he got the gold medal for? Um, Because his butt was cool. Yeah, he had butt a cool butt. Cool. Look, his dog got silver, <laughs> and then the shameful bronze went to the frog. Oh, uh, uh, poor frog. How big is a frog's big? butt? A frog's butt <laughs> yeah. is each three inches, but I'm very. Specific. How many butts does the frog have? Well, it each... only has two, Sorry, two it's butt okay. cheeks. I meant. It, oh, you're saying each butt cheek is three inches? So it's like a six inch butt in total. Yeah, it's like a in six inch butt. <laughs> and then its feet are like the tiniest thing ever. It's like five centimeters. It's five centimeter feet, <laughs> six inch butt. You're painting a pretty weird picture of this frog. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's our story for today. Thanks for watching Storytime with Mr. K. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Storytime with Mr. K. Bye, everybody. Today we're reading Then What? Animals from A to Z. A rhyming adventure of make-believe and wild imagination. Make-believe! Make by Nancy O'Neill. If an ape could go to school, and a bug, bee, bug, could read a book. <laughs> if a cat could eat a sandwich, <laughs> and a duck could learn to cook. Okay, um, ducks can cook. Oh, well, in this world they can. Then what? Would an elephant be all pink? No, it will be all gray. Or a frog swim in a sink? No. Frank, Frank old boy, you came to join us. How you doing? Hi. Or a frog swim in a sink? F. <laughs> F. What else starts with F? Um, frog. And? Elephant. Elephant? No, elephant starts with E. Oh, uh, let me think. What else starts with F, Party? Frank? Um. <laughs> hey, Frank, what starts with F? Funny. Funny, yeah, funny starts with F. What What else, Frank? <laughs> um. A fukachukachu? Yep. I guess fukachukachu starts with F. What else starts with F, Frank? Frank? Um. Okay, Frank. Ah, Frank. If a goat could row a 
boat. No! <laughs> and a hippo took a nap. No! Well, I mean, hippos can take naps, right? If an inchworm drove a bus. <laughs> no! Yeah, if an... It crawls on the, on the floor. <laughs> if an inchworm drove a bus. No, it crawls on the floor. And a jackrabbit wore a cap. Oh, that, um, that's in the rabbit's name. Who else's name is it in? Mine. Yeah, your name. How do you? And I'm, I'm, I'm J U L E. E is in Natalie's name, and E is in my name. That's right. Who's Natalie? I'm my best friend. That's right. Then what? Would a koala be king? No. Or a lion learn to sing? No! How do you think a lion would sound if he sang? He sang, roar, roar, roar! Roar, 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 roar. <laughs> Wow. Sing, row, row, row your boat like a lion. Row, row, row your boat, get you on the road! <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. If a mouse could ride a bike... No! no. And a night owl chased the stars. No! Look well, at that guy. Well, I mean, guy. that makes sense. I mean, Look at that guy. A night owl would fly through the stars. If an ostrich played the drums. No! And a pig could play guitar. No! No, guess what? Then, then what? Would a quail visit France? No! Or a raccoon wear purple pants? No! <laughs> <laughs> if a snake could blow a bubble. No! And a tiger slept in bed. Oh, he looks cozy. A unicorn! If a unicorn was a pet. No! Oh, oh my goodness, June. How much would you like to have a unicorn as a pet? Mm. Ew! <laughs> June! Oh, my goodness. Girl! Oh. I farted. You did. You did. Maybe it was the unicorn. Yeah, the unicorn farted. Why? Because that tail's like a fart. Yeah, I get you. You're ruining this wonderful, nice book. Oh. And a vampire bat was red. No. no. Then what? Would a whale be a doctor? No! And take an x-ray of a carp? No! No! Would a yak pretend to juggle? No! But look how happy that's making him. Have you ever seen a yak that happy? No! Neither have I. He's not happy. He looks pretty happy. Or a zebra play the harp? No! Then what? Then, then what? what? The world would be a playground. A wacky, whimsy place where the fun would never, ever end and laughter filled each space. We dream of worlds where things are strange and rules do not apply, for in the land of make-believe, our imaginations could fly. Where will your imagine take you? I'm imagination. The end. You do have an imagination, so where does your imagination take you? A dog that um writes numbers and does some business. And does some business? <laughs> what like, business does the dog do? Like he has like cool um cool glasses and then he will write like this. Well I gotta do some business. Too. <laughs> oh I gotta do some business. Yeah. <laughs> June, what about your imagination? Where does your uh, imagination take you? Um um to Princess's World. Princess's World? What happens in Princess's World? Um, Anna and Elsa. <laughs> Anna and Elsa are in Princess World. What about Mom? Um, she, she works in, his off, in her office. Yeah, but that's not her imagination. That's what she does. What do you think she dreams about? Um, being at a beach. Being at a beach, that's a good one. A, a pig that's um, picking his nose. A pig picking his nose. <laughs> And he's using the booger to draw and do some business. <laughs> <laughs> so he's drawing with his own boogers? Yes. Well, probably saves on ink.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Storytime with Mr. K. Today, I have Frank with me. You want to just say hi to everyone, Frank? Hi. Today, we're reading The Boy with Big, Big Feelings by Brittany Wynne Lee, illustrated by Jacob Suva. So, the, you, like, he's going to imagine stuff? No, I don't know what he's doing. Let's read about it. Or maybe, like, fe feelings, like, mad or sad or happy. I know that one, glad. Yeah, maybe glad. Oh, I know yeah. about sharks. Yeah, sure. I know you do. You know a lot about sharks. I know a lot about everything. Yeah, you are quite the encyclopedia of knowledge. I know human body. Bodies. You know human bodies? Yeah. What about them? So right here is your arm, and there's bones inside your body. So way up here, right here, yeah. is your heart. Yes. It's funny you mentioned the heart, because we're going to talk about a boy with a really big heart, because he has really big feelings. Yeah. All right. So, so like, sometimes if you don't breathe, the heart beats fast. But if you breathe a little bit a lot... It might slow down like it. Oh, you mean so like if you breathe and take a moment, you might stop worrying and stressing so much or being yeah. so angry? Yeah, like this. Yeah. All right. There once was a boy with feathery hair and a heart that was bursting with feeling. His emotions seemed bigger than everyone else's, and sometimes they made him go reeling. It's okay to have... It's okay to be mad... Sure, of course it's okay to be mad. Everyone it's gets okay mad sometimes. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be yeah. happy. When playing outside on the yellowest days, a loud truck might rumble on by, and wouldn't you know it, that big heart of his would push feelings right out of his eyes. Look, he's just crying. Why? I don't know. He has big, big feelings that just kind of overwhelm him sometimes. At night, when the shadows would form on the walls, and fear would steal all of his rest. Those feelings of his made it so hard to breathe as they jumped up and down on his chest. Look how worried he is. He's like, look at all the shadows. There's a lot to think about. It gets scary in your room at night, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I sometimes want to sleep with me. Yeah, sometimes you sleep with us? Yeah. Sometimes when his play had to come to an end, or when things didn't go as he'd planned, the feelings would run down the length of his arms and clench when they got to his hands. It's okay to be mad when something breaks. Well, sure. But he's just angry because, like, his mom or dad or someone said, Hey, it's time to clean up. It's time to stop playing. Maybe they had to go somewhere. Or maybe it was time to go to bed and he gets so angry. It's okay yeah. to feel that way, right? Yeah. You just have to find a way to express yourself. He felt happy feelings as big as the others. Yeah, from look. His underwear. <laughs> I think it's a bathing suit. <laughs> From tickles and hide and go seek, and jokes and raises and stories. And hide and go seek. Hide and go seek. That's a real game. Hide and go seek. It is a game. That yeah, means yeah. a game that's like um, you hide, and if they found you, you um, you're the um, seeker. Yes, yes. From tickles and hide and go seek. And jokes and races and stories and songs that made feelings glow from his cheeks. Look, he's when he's happy, he's just as happy. Look yeah. how happy he is. Beautiful things would stick in his brain and not leave him for hours and hours. So inside of the nose, there's a lot of hairs in here. Yeah. And 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 sometimes some boogers grow out <laughs> the hairs. What boogers grow out of the hairs? Is that where boogers come from? I mean, no, 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 do no. Boogers, where do boogers come from? I mean, no, um, snot comes out of the ears. Yeah. And the boogers describe the stuff where it's no here. Wait, so wait, what? where does snot come from? Um, the hair. Snot comes out of hair, nose hairs? Yeah. No, and no, where no. does, where do boogers come from? Maybe at the back, it just grows out. What's it grow out of? The, like, what's a booger made out of? Um, squish. Squish? Yeah, um, so instead of it, it might be squishy down. So it might be coming out, like, here where it's not hairy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. But, yeah, I think that's normally what's right. All right, so 
Um, let's get back to the story. What do you think? Okay. All right. Beautiful things would stick in his brain and not leave him for hours and hours. The fur of a dog, a fluffy white cloud, his mama, a banjo, some flowers. Those are all nice, happy thoughts, aren't they? Mm-hmm. But when someone he loved had a very hard day, he'd feel he'd been over-equipped to feel all their feelings as deeply as they, which would quiver right out of his lip. So even when someone else was feeling feelings, he would feel the feelings too. So, so the breathing way might be some feelings in there, and it comes to the heart, and the feelings comes out of your heart. Here, up to your head, the yes. feelings come out. Yes. He wondered, why me? Why this big giant heart in a world that's so heavy and kind? where all of these feelings under the sun feel as if they were made to be mine. So the boy tried to stuff all his feelings deep down to control what he thought he should hide, afraid that the others would make fun of him if they saw all he felt deep inside. So he's not expressing his feelings when he's angry or sad or happy because when he expresses them, it's so big and he thinks others will make fun of him. So, um... Stuff feelings down to hide means they come down back from their heads yeah. back into their heart, into the um, into the um, the feeling hole. Yeah, the feeling hole in your stomach. Yeah, how do you think that makes them feel? A little bit, a little bit sad. A maybe. little bit sad. But, but when he's a little bit sad, that means his feelings are still in his head. Yeah. Would they think he was weak, dramatic, afraid? Would they call him a wimp or a baby? What do I? <laughs> if they saw the big thumping heart in his chest, would they not want to play with him, maybe? But while swinging one day, feeling oh so alone, he noticed a girl feeling blue. He marveled. What's that? Could it be? Yes, indeed. Her emotions were extra big, too. So he's on the playground, and he saw a little girl crying on the seesaw. <gasps> Maybe he could go on the seesaw with her. Let's see. <gasps> That's exactly what he did. Look. Are you okay? The boy asked the girl. I'm fine. Just sometimes I get sad. He said, you do? Hey, I get sad, too. I get scared and silly and mad. The two became pals who shared their big hearts, not feeling they had to pretend when they needed to cry or to laugh big and loud since feelings had helped make them friends. So now the happiness is stuck in their head. Yeah, that's but, a good thing to have stuck in your head, isn't it? Yeah, but if you but if you don't want it, you don't have to feel like that. I don't know, good if you I don't want. know that you have a choice, but it's okay to feel those things. Yeah. This is a good book. Yeah. And soon they noticed there were other big hearts in the classroom, the playground, the bus. And they smiled as they learned that it wasn't just them. Big emotions affect all of us. The boy and his friends slowly felt less alone with the feelings that lived deep inside them. Emotions might feel big and scary sometimes, but that's no reason to hide them. The end. What do you think? Um, that's a cool book because there's like a lot of feelings that I could talk about to you here. Yeah. The head from the stomach. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you feel big feelings sometimes? Yeah. Even though it could, I mean, though the feelings go in the heart. Okay. Is that what? true? Um. I don't know which hole does know. the feelings go in. I mean, they're really all in your brain, kind of. But sometimes oh, yeah. it makes your heart pound. Oh yeah, they're in the brain when they're when the feelings. Are you guys so. About? Oh hi June, we're when talking about big big feelings. Oh my the God, the book is over. The yeah, boys? the book is over. Hey June, do you ever have big big feelings like yeah. angry or sad or happy? The yeah, boys? I'm I'm still playing. Okay, okay bye. Was it called again? What? What's it called again? What's what called? The book, the boy with big big feelings. Sometimes, sometimes I'm mad at June. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes you're mad at June. Uh, it's okay sometimes. Sometimes I'm happy with her. 
Well, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And you find ways to express that, right? A lot of times I want to be alone sometimes. And that's okay. Yeah, that's also okay. And so how do you say when June really wants to play with you? What do you say um, when you're feeling that way? Um, To be alone? Yeah. Um. What's a good way to express that feeling? I want to be alone for now. Yeah, maybe you say, hey, June, I just feel like being by myself for a little bit. Maybe I'll play with you later. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just say for, just for five minutes by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be a truth also. Yeah, there's good ways to express your feelings, huh? Yeah. I'm glad we read that book. That's a good book. Yeah, it's a good book. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. K. Hello. Uh, welcome to Butt Storytime because we're reading a butt story. Okay, so... That's true. Yes, we are reading another book about butts. Today, it's Dad's Runaway Butt <laughs> by Don McMillan and illustrated by... Ross Knaird. Ross Knaird. June, do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. There's a rumble at our house. An explosion! A blast! <laughs> Something is happening, and it's happening fast! Look, whatever's happening, look, the picture's being blown down, the tree back there's being blown down, something's blasting everything down. Ah! <laughs> Dad's butt has blown off! <laughs> with, a, with a hiss and a roar! It's gone out the front door! What door? He blew his butt off! Look, there's a giant hole in his pants! <laughs> and look, look down here. The dog's like, ah, look at that butt go. And the butt's like, Pfft, and it like flies. Even dad's like, ah, oh, my butt. <laughs> Way down our walk, out through the gate. Let's chase it, dad, before it's too late. Uh, dad seems so upset. Look, the butt's like going out the front gate. No one's allowed to go. No, they're going after it. What a disaster. His butt's rolling faster. Off down the street, past people we meet. It toots and it blows. <laughs> I hold my nose. <laughs> Look, it made the baby cry. <laughs> As it's rolling and rolling, past people strolling, past joggers. What is going on? Past joggers in tights, past bikers with lights. Past children swinging, past people singing, <laughs> uphill and down, heading for town. Yeah, look at the people singing. <laughs> oh, there's fart coming in on her face. Yeah, they're going. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I like the best about it? What? It's this lady. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 has fart in her face. Yeah. But you know what I like the most, most? Right. This guy. Yeah. Just look at his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> See it all? I think I like all the kids. My heart is racing from running and chasing. Oh my god, why is that butt flying away? And now the police have arrived. They shout, Stand aside! We're coming through! Look at them all running. And they've got a dog too. They've got a police canine. <laughs> this butt on the loose will never do. Not to mention, <laughs> it's a smelly butt, too. <laughs> look at that. Look at a dog. <laughs> it is a smelly butt. <laughs> this, ah! this butt causes crashes, <laughs> bad falls, <laughs> and splashes. Mom, look, Dad, look, the bird. Oh, it the killed bird. the bird. <laughs> no. And with that smell on the breeze, it's wilting the trees. And look at that girl. She fell in there. Yeah. Oh, look, that little dog's farting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny dog. What sound do you think is coming out of that right there? It's going... <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this guy. He's like... <laughs> The police are shouting, we're on its tail. We'll have to arrest it and take it to jail. No. We'll, we'll catch this bad butt by the end of the day. A runaway butt is never okay. Dad needs his butt. So, the bird's back alive. Oh, good. So what happens now? We huh? must get his butt back. The question. Dad needs his butt for what? 
Well, what do you need your butt for? No, just tell me. Well, what what do people need their butts for? You need to, yeah. to go potty. And, yeah. yeah so dad needs his butt. So what happens now? We must get his butt back. The question is how? Who wants his butt? My heart is heavy. I'm feeling sad. I don't want a butt-free dad. Now dad's getting tired. He's done with the chase. He's heading home with a frown on his face. But wait, what do I see? Can it be right? I smell a smell and... Look at your dog. Ah! <laughs> he smells something too. Dad's butt is in sight. It's rolled around the block. It's out on its own. Now it's chasing Dad, and we're <laughs> headed for home. <laughs> the butt's getting closer. <laughs> the butt's getting closer. And abracadabra, Dad's butt's back in place. Now he's one piece with a smile on his face. His butt's back. <laughs> it must get far away again. Yeah, let's see. We're a family united. And I'm so excited. No more butt scurries. No more butt worries. I give Dad a hug and I say, Dad, please. No more beans with extra cheese. No. <laughs> beans with extra cheese makes you fart. It, whoa. It makes you fart? Yeah. And, and, really and, and your butt will flow away. Well, yeah. not, not for real. If that was true, your butt would have flown away a long time so, ago, Junie. Um, what's your favorite part of the story, guys? My favorite part are when the police started chasing the butt, trying to arrest it. And my favorite part was when um, it said, Yeah, oh, this is stinky! <laughs> Frank, what was your favorite part? <laughs> um, where it made a baby cry. Where it made it, yeah. Yeah, if your fart makes a baby cry, it may be time no, no, to I like when the stop. Dog Maybe change up your diet a little bit. <laughs> I, I like when the dog farted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Storytime with Mr. K. To purchase this or other great books or to watch more videos, visit StorytimeWithMrK.com. See you next time. Bye. Bye.